This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Gang, Larry Vickers, I got a really cool submachine gun for you today. Soviet design PPS 43, a classic of World War II. This particular one made in 1950 in Poland. The Soviets themselves actually discontinued production around 1946. Coming out of World War II, they had millions of submachine guns. They had no need to make any more. And remember, they were switching over to the assault rifle in the AK-47. If you've ever shot one of these, this is one of the best World War II submachine guns, hands down. And it's kind of an unsung submachine gun. It's one that a lot of people kind of have a tendency to overlook when they're looking at the Thompson, MP40, Sten gun, PPSH-41. The PPS-43 kind of falls through the cracks, but in many ways, it's one of the best. And supposedly, even Kalashnikov himself considered this to be the best submachine gun to come out of World War II. Largely made out of stampings. All right, just under seven pounds, empty just under a 10 inch barrel, roughly six to 700 rounds per minute, fully automatic only, but I can tell you from personal experience, you can get single shots off if you're careful with the trigger, all right? Chambered in 7.62 by 25 millimeter Tokarev, otherwise known as 7.62 Type P Soviet. Pistol round, but it's got some steam to it. Largely made out of stamped sheet metal, very few components are machined. And matter of fact, the stamp sheet metal is ingenious in how much they used it. It's actually a pretty cool gun in a lot of ways. 35 round curved magazine dual position feed, unlike the one for the PPSH-41, which makes it tougher to load in the PPSH-41's case, single position feed and less reliable. Really good mag, easy to load. Magazine release is shielded here with a stamp sheet metal guard on the back side of the magazine well. The safety on this one is very much like the one on the M1 Garand. When you put it in a position, in this case, it locks the bolt to the rear. It's right in front of the trigger guard. Butt stock folds and pivots and collapses on top, which is somewhat unique. You only see that now rarely in a few different guns, but at this time, the PPS-43 is the one that pioneered that. Charging handle, of course, is on the right-hand side. Folding rear sight, two positions and also a front sight that is shielded with stamp sheet metal ears. Notice the muzzle break up front, which is a stamp sheet metal portion that bends around the end of the muzzle. Ventilated barrel shroud, and like I said, a lot of stamp sheet metal used here. Really cool gun. Overall, excellent weapon. One of my favorite World War II submachine guns to shoot. We're fixing to light it up for you, Vickers Tactical Style. Stay tuned.